Hello guys, welcome back to my channel again. So in the last two video, we have loaded the sales data and uh, you can see here all the tables present from the sales data. And this video, I am going to plot some graph from the sales data itself. So uh, today I am thinking to plot these graphs from the sales data utilizing the customers and the sales table. Okay, so let's go to the page number two and uh, this video might be divided into two parts because uh, we will first uh, plot this chart and then do the formatting again so the formatting will be take some time so it might be into the two videos so uh, try to watch both the videos to get the full understanding of plotting the chart okay so let's go to the page number two uh, First, let's go to the customer table and see the columns. So we have the address, we have a birth date, we have a first purchase date, gender, geography, marital status, name, occupation, poor, and year income. So let's first take, uh, just like let's try to see that yearly income based on the occupation as and uh, based on the gender. Okay. So this is the clustered column chart. So just click it here it will be automatically come to here just increase the size uh, and uh, uh, if you see here it is under the visualization you can see the x-axis y-axis and region so let's put y uh, axis to this yearly income sorry this would be at the y-axis and at the x-axis let's uh, put the occupation okay so you see uh, here it's a uh, y axis is occupation sales sum of the yearly income and access axis is the all the profession here uh, but generally when we try to compare anything uh, i mean especially in the sales or anywhere we don't take the sum just take the average so convert it to the average now it's okay so this is the management have on average 92 uh, 1,325 uh, yearly income and uh, professional have around 74 something like that so you can see it here and uh, the our objective is to put uh, the gender also so let's see the distribution based on the gender so put the gender into the legend here you will see it's divided for the into the gender male and female okay so both have a similar like on average female have 91,739 and uh, male have 92,872 870 uh, I mean the average yearly income for the management similarly for other profession so that is the one chart uh, second chart let's try to see the same thing based on the marital status and into the different way so I will select uh, the, so first click outside this chart and then click to stack bar chart this one put it here something like uh, this place increase or decrease based on that put uh, y as your x axis now real income as your x axis now and uh, occupation is your y axis so you can see it again it's divided uh, I mean between the professional management and uh, just to make this sum of the yearly income to the average so now it's come to the average put the marital status as a legend so you see the marital status is divided into M versus S M is the married S is uh, single okay so let's do some formatting first because these two is coming to the same color and it doesn't look good here right so for doing any kind of formatting any changing that you just click it this chart go to the second tab here inside the visualization click it here you will see all x y axis like x axis y axis region grid line tube color okay spacing so let's first change the color so uh, this is for the female just to make female as 
this color see as it is make male and yellow color something like that and why we do this color or i mean why we change the color so in any visualization that is very important uh, whenever we putting any color we just make sure the color which we are putting is aligned with the your uh, the chart which you are uh, trying to make it for any specific if organization for your client that should be aligned with their color code as well as this color should not affect your eyes so put generally the dull color so dull color does generally does not have any uh, i mean impact on your eyes so try to put that kind of uh, color here okay let's go for this one first and uh, let's again change the color code maybe we can take this blue as it is but the darker one change to be some reddish color like this so it's opposite of so make this one as a this and do like this one okay. so this nice uh, color combination is present here okay so this is from the customer table okay so we have plotted the two chart here one is the stacked bar chart second is the clustered column chart so let's go to the sales data now and let's see the columns so that we can take those uh, few columns from there we have discount customer key discount amount order date order date product key product standard sales amount sales order tax amount so let's utilize a sales amount which is maybe the sales data so uh, i am going to simply have a pie chart i'm sorry uh, you should be uh, actually come out of the so if you just selected the uh, i mean old graph and don't press the escape button it will be change your type of the chart so let's go back here and do this thing okay and then just click outside this chart now you can take this pie chart okay so this pie chart here and i wanted to see the sales so this is from the sales data and uh, so uh for this chart uh this pie chart uh, we have the sales and we also have the territory so from the territory we can utilize the region okay so we have this sales and the territory so yeah before going for plot here i uh, just wanted to tell you one more thing i have joined this sales and territory based on the common key okay so here uh, i think the territory key is common here so if you see the territory key here and here uh, in the sales data you will be having something called uh i think you need sales territory key so sales territory key is common in both the places sales as well as the territory okay so let's go here and uh, put the sales amount into the values and then go to this region as a detail maybe we can take a yeah i think region as a uh uh under detail okay so this pie chart has been plotted here and the, the same information we can represent in another way so let's select outside that now we will go to the donut chart okay. so this is the donut chart and uh, we want to have this sales amount at value 
and this time we will see the group as a details okay so this is plotted again and uh, yeah i think uh, now let's uh, have two more kpis so kpi is generally when you wanted to give some uh, high level overview so suppose that i wanted to say that what is the total sales total sales across all the domain across all the regions are uh, i mean all the thing so you just need to click this card the card will be something like that and uh, just make this small okay. place at this space and go to the sales we have a to sales amount right so just put the sales okay so you see 29.36 million something like that okay so this is the total sales so sum of the sales amount okay and uh, let's also have some more kpi one more kpi which say that total uh order order quantity simple order quantity so you can just click it outside again press the card so i mean there is two options of either you can go here press the card it will come other otherwise you just click it here press the control c copy it and control v paste it okay so it will be similar because you may need to again uh, increase or decrease the size of that okay so here you will see both are same way but it's uh, let's uh, remove this from the sales to the total order order quantity so the total is 60k sum of the total quantity is 60k and one more graph is pending uh, i think uh let's check back what graph is pending so sales by group okay so sales by group is into different way i plotted the donut and some other thing so let's uh, go back here change the graph so instead of doing this make this into a donut graph so this is the sales uh, by region is the donut graph and uh, this is i think uh, uh, water flow graph okay so let's go back and change that so make them into the donut graph nothing is special. i mean nothing more than that just to click into that and here you just need to select it and make into this format okay so uh in the next video i will try to do the formatting things okay thanks for watching thank you very much